Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started in Xcode and to create a new Swift UI project. So when you first boot up Xcode, you'll notice that uh, you have this splash screen. Uh, you can click create new project from here or we can go to file, new project and that brings up the same screen. From here we're going to be focusing on building iOS applications, not Mac OS, Watch OS. Uh, you can also build projects which will work on all the different devices, but we're just going to focus on iOS devices and we're going to create a single view application. You could also choose the game template. We're going to choose the single view application because if you are doing games development or you're doing app development, we can present the different views through this uh, single view application. So we're going to select app, next. From here we can uh, create a name for our project, so let's do hello world as is traditional with coding projects to make sure that you have your first project as printing out hello world. So I have the name of my project, I have the team, you can choose none if you don't have an Apple ID. Uh, we then have the organization identifier. This is just used as a unique identifier for your project. So if you upload this to the App Store one day, uh, we have that unique identifier which will identify when we upload new versions or um, when we need to remove or change prices. It just has that unique identifier. The interface we're going to choose is Swift UI, not Storyboard, as you may have used in the past. We use Swift UI. The language, of course, we're using is Swift, and we're not going to use core data or included tests for now. So click next. Okay, from here you can choose if you want to have your Git repository on or not. It is on by default. Uh, it just helps you know when files have been modified. Uh, I'm going to put this onto my desktop and I'll create next. So from here we have the Swift interface. Uh, the first thing to know is if you need a little bit more real estate, I'm working on a 13 inch laptop, so sometimes things do get a little bit cramped. We've got these little toggles at the top which will hide and show the different areas. Okay, so if you need a bit more space to hide the project directory uh, next to the full screen icon, we have these little toggles. And again, for the properties as well, as you're going through, we can hide and reveal that. Uh, here we have the canvas or the, the live view. And then here we have the code which we'll be working on. Okay, uh, if this disappears, as it has done now, we click on the list icon and we go to canvas and this will preview what we're working on. So you see currently we have hello world appear in this text view. Uh, we also have this little struct here. This basically all this does is presents our content view. This does this display here to our view controller. So if you remove this, your code will still run and we'll still be able to uh, execute our project, which I'll do now. I'll select an iPhone 13 and click run. So that's going to boot up the simulator, but we can see live previews as we're going. So for example, while my simulator is loading up, if I click resume, I can see hello world. Uh, if I want to change the color of this, I could change the foreground color and I could make it red. This will update live within our window. If I want to set the background color, green, it'll update live. Okay, we'll take, depending on your machine, it will take a little bit of time. However, that is the basis. Uh, so as I execute, this of course isn't live. I need to actually build it for the particular device. So now I can see this has been updated. In order to choose your device, select from the list here. If you have your phone plugged in, your phone will appear also, but you can choose the different devices which you, you need to build on. So that's the basis of our uh, Xcode interface. We have the project directory, we have our properties tab, we have our code, we have our live view or our, our canvas view, and we've learned also how to build projects.